Hello and welcome to this overview of chart patterns. Chart patterns is a part of technical analysis that most people don't immediately master as it takes some time and a little bit of experience in the markets to understand. Fortunately, Audit Chartist will give you a boost not only by showing you where chart patterns form but it will also put you on the fast track to learn to identify them yourself and understand what well-formed patterns look like. The basis of chart patterns is market psychology. That is, price going up to a point where traders decide in their minds that a stock or commodity is too expensive, then they stop buying it and some start selling it to take profits and the price drops. And the same thing happens in reverse when a price goes low enough that in the minds of traders it becomes cheap, they start buying and the price rises. It is this decision making process that happens in the minds of traders collectively. Everyone's actions influencing everyone else's decisions that we call market psychology. Now these lows and highs in price form imaginary barriers. Straight lines that slant up or down that show changes in the attitudes of buyers and sellers over time. These lines are what we refer to as support and resistance. Chart patterns are nothing more than combinations of opposing support and resistance lines with price bouncing between them in various ways. The typical recognition of a chart pattern is based on four points. Price will alternate between touching a resistance line and support line after which the expectation is that if the price breaks through the support or resistance level it would have enough momentum to carry it some distance further and therein lies the trade opportunity. It is mainly the slope of these lines that determine what type of pattern it is. For example, channels form between parallel lines that slope upward or downward. A rectangle forms between horizontal parallel lines. Triangles have downward sloping resistance and upward sloping support. And wedges slope in the same direction at slightly different angles. Note how the classic rising wedge pattern has an additional fifth touching point on the support line. This means that the pattern breakout is in the opposite direction to the initial trend. This class of pattern is called a reversal pattern. Other examples of reversal patterns are the head and shoulders, double tops, double bottoms, and triple tops and triple bottoms. So where reversal patterns have breakout and initial trend in opposite directions, continuation patterns are the ones that have their breakout in the same direction as the initial trend, like the channels and the triangles we've seen previously. Altogether, Order Chartist identifies the 16 most widely used pattern types. As some of these can be classified as reversal or continuation patterns, there is also the dis distinction between trending patterns, such as channels, where the support and resistance lines are parallel, effectively forming a trend, and non-trending patterns like triangles, where the price gets squeezed into a corner and has to break out through either the support or resistance, purely through the normal continuation of price action, meaning price doesn't ever stop changing. In addition, Order Chartist identifies chart patterns even before the price breaks through the support or resistance line. Strictly speaking, and according to charting theory, these are not fully formed chart patterns. But if the price continues in the expected direction, and it breaks through support or resistance, then it would be accepted as a completed pattern and it would have a target price expectation. Emerging patterns are particularly useful for swing traders on trending pattern formations. For more information on the distinction between emerging and complete patterns, see our educational video that explains it in more detail. With each pattern that Order Charters identifies, there's also a collection of quality indicators. And there's also a video about quality indicators that will explain them to you in more detail. Chart patterns are a great starting point for scanning the market for potential trade opportunities. But we recommend that you use chart patterns in conjunction with other tools like market news, other technical indicators or fundamental price information about the stock or the instrument you're going to trade. Have a look at the literature. Just about any book that introduces you to technical analysis will have at least a chapter on chart patterns. And as with just about any other topic, you will find a lot to read up on chart patterns on the internet. 
Also see our videos on Fibonacci patterns and key levels. They can offer you great trading opportunities as well. Send us your feedback and your questions to support at ordercharters.com. Best of luck with your trading and thanks for watching this video. Music